In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature of 2017 Inventor called Relationship Tracking. Here I have a part called RelationshipTracking.ipt, and what we're going to look at is how this part was built. So if I take my end of part marker and roll it up, you can see I have my first extrusion, then I have a circular pattern, then I have another extrusion here, a third extrusion, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and then lastly a fillet. Now, what I would like to know as I examine someone's model, whether it be something simple like this or something much more complex, is what parents or children reside on my features. So that way I know that if I modify it or if I need to modify something further down the tree, I know what it's affecting. Now we can do this by right clicking on any one of our features in our tree, such as extrusion one, and going down here to an option called relationships. This will open up a little window to tell me for this particular extrusion one, my parent is the XY plane, the center point in sketch one. The children are the circular pattern. Well, that makes sense because I created that plus sign there with the circular pattern. Now what I can do is then say, make this one the selected option. So right now extrusion one is selected. So I can select this and now that's what's being shown. Extrusion one is the parent and a child of that is extrusion two. Now, if I'd like to modify either extrusion one or extrusion two, or even the circular pattern, you can click on these buttons here to say edit that particular feature. So if I choose this, I automatically go into the editing window for this particular guy. I can make changes or accept it. And then it exits me out of the command. I go ahead and go back in to relationships. So here's extrusion six down here. Let's go ahead and make that the selected one there. I can see the parent is just extrusion two and has a child of fill at one, but it also has sketch four, XY plane, and also center point. You click done. Let's look at extrusion four. Look at the relationships on this one. Here I can see XY plane and center point and extrusion five. Let's make extrusion five active, which is this larger disc here at the bottom side. I can see XY, center point, sketch one, extrusion two, and sketch two are the parents, and the children is extrusion six. Now, if I look at extrusion six, you can see that it does not have as many parents. That's because I built extrusion six slightly differently. I actually built it off of a plane on the back side over here. I created a brand new sketch called sketch four, and I projected some geometry onto that plane that was not necessarily tied to the original geometry that extrusion five had. So you can basically track through your relationships and have a better understanding of how things are interrelated inside of your model. This is actually pretty nice because the only way I could do this before was to try and delete a feature and then see what was being selected as a possible deletion if I did decide to actually delete the feature that I selected. If I can track through my parent and children relationships, I can see what changes would necessarily affect something else if I need to examine those, break it down, and make my model more robust and easier to update. 